suppose this is an underground steel pipeline usually for corrosive protection wrapping and coating or 3 lp that means three layer of polyethylene pre coated pipe is used but if the soil is very much corrosive then additionally cathodic protection system is provided for this ug pipeline cathodic protection it may be of sacrificial anode type or impressed current type this cathodic protection system is provided to protect the underground pipe additionally from corrosion this underground pipe is kept electrically cathodic so that electron will flow from anode to the pipeline that means to the cathode and pipe will be protected from corrosion usually this underground pipe is laid much before and underground pipe is terminated with a flange so that underground pipe will be tested separately and above ground part starts with a companion flange like this this is the companion flange counter flange and after this flange above ground pipe starts like this so up to this point it is ug underground and from this point it is ag above ground now we will have to make this flange joint electrically isolated so that current from underground pipeline will not go to above ground piping if the cathodic protection current of underground pipeline is passed to above ground pipeline through the flange studs then current of this underground pipeline will be lost and cathodic protection of underground pipeline will not be effective so we will have to make this flange joint electrically isolated to make this flange joint electrically isolated we have to provide grp g10 sleeve like this this is grp g10 sleeve then phenolic washer is provided like this and then metallic stud is provided through this g10 grp slip like this this is the metallic stud this is the nut and this is the nut similar similarly this is the nut and this is the nut and in the flange joint neoprene faced phenolic gasket is used like this neoprene faced 
phenolic gasket ring gasket is used so to make this strain joint electrically isolated we are providing grp g10 slip through the bolt hole of the flange then phenolic washer at top and bottom this side also same this is red color is grp g10 slip then phenolic washer and then metallic stud and nuts this blue color portion is of metallic and this red color portion is of non metallic so this flange and this flange is electrically isolated and current will not be able to pass from underground piping to above ground piping and cathodic protection system of underground piping will be much effective this joint is called isolating joint or insulation flange joint so with the three items we are providing this isolating flange one item is phenolic washer another item is g10 grp slip through the flange bolt hole and another item is neoprene faced phenolic ring gasket this gasket using these three non metallic items we are making this flange joint as insulation joint or isolating joint since there is no metal to metal contact in this joint it is not possible to pass the current from underground pipeline to above ground pipeline this is non metallic neoprene faced phenolic ring gasket which will be provided in the flange joint and this is g10 grp insulation sleeve provided over the metallic stud and this is non metallic phenolic washer stud assembly will be installed like this insulating washer at top and bottom and metallic washer outside and the stud through the grp insulation sleeve now let us see how isolating flange joint is done at site this is g10 grp sleeve and this is phenolic washer then over the g10 grp sleeve phenolic washer and metallic washer are mounted then g10 sleeve is inserted through flange bolt hole then metallic stud is installed and nuts are tightened this is top phenolic washer and this is bottom phenolic washer this is bottom flange and this is top flange this is grp sleeve this is bottom phenolic washer and this is top phenolic washer these three things will provide electrical discontinuity now neoprene faced non metallic phenolic flat ring gasket will be provided in between two flanges this is that gasket now this gasket is being placed in between two flanges in the same way g10 grp sleeve phenolic washer and metallic stud with nuts 
are provided on other flange bolt holes. Now you can see the entire isolating flange joint assembly using GRP sleeve, phenolic washer and phenolic gasket. Now cathodic protection current will not flow from underground piping to above ground piping through this flange joint.